it's really a shame. We recorded this discussion and unfortunately my audio has had massive issues in that recording and I'm going to upload it just because um, I want to see if there's anything to salvage. But the problem is my audio was really spotty and it's not going to, I don't think that the conversation is going to make too much sense since you're not going to be able to hear me entirely. Uh, so I just wanted to just quickly touch on the fact that <clears throat> I am really excited about the look of these orcs. So I I have heard some mixed responses. I've tried to stay away from them and I haven't really dug too deep into it. I wanted it to be my own reaction. And um I what I what I tried to say in the original video uh is that th this is the best looking orcs that I have seen in any medium anywhere. That is high praise, and I understand that. But this, the fact that they are going practical is a huge, huge plus. I think that is one of the biggest problems with the Hobbit trilogy is the over-reliance on CGI when the practical effects in the original trilogy looked great. And one of my main reasons for this belief is that when you have an actor in costume, and they're doing some sort of combat or even just their presence in a scene, it adds a weight. It adds an object in the scene that the other actors can bounce off of um, either by <laughs> combat, but also just by being there physically. There's, there is an added sense of, of, a, of a presence to that other actor and it allows them to act off of that to, I think, a greater extent. It's why... Uh, you see a lot of actors uh, come out after the fact and kind of critique the creating style of some of these overly uh, visually um, visually um, awesome looking movies and shows like like Star Wars and The Hobbit. But on the flip side, the actors, while making that work, were by themselves in a blue or green screen room having to act and and basically there's no reaction there's not there's no presence for them to get a sense of s scale or size or just um you know their personal space there's no if, if a person comes right up to their personal space that th their reaction to that isn't going to be as effective unless an actor is actually doing that to them so i just wanted to say real quick because i i think our conversation was lost unfortunately but but these are the best looking orcs i've ever seen not only in the lord of the rings but anywhere else now obviously drawings um can get to this level so i have seen orcs to this extent somewhere on the internet but this is going to be the first time to see it in a in a movie or television medium and i i think these things are getting too much negativity this is what orcs are supposed to look like and if you don't understand that i don't think you've truly grasped the concept of orcs um in in any movie or show uh let alone lord of the rings um uh, where th these orcs are not going to have um saruman to help get their armor prepared and organize them into an army these orcs are going to be scavenging this equipment they're going to be piecing it together building it out of scraps and they're not even going to really know how to work some of the equipment so um that is the look i i'm i'm sorry for people who want the Urukai look, I get it. Urukais look awesome in the original trilogy, but that's not this. These are orcs and potentially goblins that are kind of roaming bands, it looks like, <clears throat> until they finally get organized. And maybe then you'll start to see a little bit more of a uniform look. But until then, they're going to look all over the place, and that's fine. In terms of their faces... This is another thing where I think um, uh, Peter Jackson played it too safe. I, I love the original trilogy. I watch it all the time. 
I love the looks, but I do think for our, for the orcs, the close-ups of the actors in costume, I think he played it a little safe. Their their faces are a little bit too clean. I know they're not they're not you know chiseled a jaw, uh, you know Jamie Lannister or Aragorn or or Legolas looking, but they um their their face is just not beat up enough to be a, a an orc it, the, these orcs are very rough with each other and so these images are really showing that you're seeing the damage that's already been done to these poor creatures and that i to me really brings it all together combine that with the mismatch of of armor and even this weird one at the very end that has sort of like it looks like an animal's skull with an arrow bolt being the the nose guard coming down off that skull and then having i guess two pieces of metal that they've that they've found and scavenged they've bolted them onto this this animal's skull and that whole contraption is their helmet that that is an orc so this is one of the most positive articles or positive pieces of news to come out about this show that has reignited my hype and I hope it has ignited yours. I'm going to start looking at some of the negative responses to this because I I was shocked that some people didn't like this. Um, I think uh, until I see what they have to say from, from right now, it sounds like they just want to hate on no matter what. The, the news could be Peter Jackson is taking over and and basically going to remake Lord of the Rings the original trilogy and they would hate on that, which again, we shouldn't want that. We already have the original trilogy, but you know, they, they're just going to, it doesn't matter what happens. They're going to hate it. This is orcs. And, and if, and if, and if you don't like this, it's, it's because you simply don't like orcs. And, and I get it. I don't like orcs either. Orcs are, are the villains, but, they this is what they are they are not some awesome looking you know dark force until they get organized and they're right now they're not organized so subscribe to uh stay with us as we approach the release of the show we're gonna keep on uh looking at these news articles hopefully the positive ones right now we are on a roll a lot of positivity we've got a new trailer that's just come out so i'm I'm really hoping that we're starting to see the, the tide shift and we can really start to get on board.